This is part three. And we still talking about how Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims. Part one, we talked about how Joshua or Yahshua, Yeshua, Yahawashai, saving only Rahab in which you can spell Arab. And we know that Jericho is present day Palestine. And in part two, we talked about Esau only picking wives from other nations. And he picked a daughter of Ishmael to be his final bride. Okay, this is a picture of the prophet Isa being only the Messiah of Islam, of the Muslims. Now, I know this pisses you off, but it's the truth. We have had sleepy teachers. We have had people, man, I'm telling you, that I don't even understand how they have parking spaces reserved for them. I don't understand. They got all this money, all these houses, and all of this respect and all this honor, and they haven't been doing nothing but lying to the people. The Bible knowledge they have is that of a child. And the children right here in the house of David are scholars compared to these men that we've had in the past. Same thing with the Israelite camps, okay? Their knowledge is garbage. Here they are talking about how they decoded the Bible and they don't even understand the simple basic principle that just like Joseph's death was a false murder, it's the same thing with the prophet Esau's death. It was a false murder. But now we want to talk about, in part three, we want to talk about Bathsheba. Now, open up your eyes. This woman name was Bathsheba. She was taking a bath. That's why Jesus told you to go spell. Jesus was the only prophet who gave us the word gospel. He wants you to go spell Esau. He wants you to go and spell Bathsheba. He wants you to go and spell corn. He wants you to spell so you can see the truth. And here we have this man, David, walking on the rooftop. That's exactly where the prophet Esau is anyway. Walking on the rooftop in the king's house, in his father's house. And he's looking down and he's seeing this woman, which is a nation, which is a religion. This woman is washing herself. This woman is sanctifying herself. This woman is Bathsheba, which is a picture of the nation of Islam. 2 Samuel 11 and 2. And it came to pass in an evening time that David arose from off his bed. Now, some of y'all thinking, well, see, Jesus rose from the dead. No. According to the gospel of Barnabas, Jesus went into heaven alive from his bed bedroom carried by four angels a picture of that is seen in the gospels when the men literally climbed up on the roof they had so much faith and they let down a bed for them to be healed by the prophet Isa and he said great is thy faith there's also a story of a man in John chapter 5 of a man carrying his mat. Why was he carrying his mat? Because Jesus told him to get up and to take up your mat and walk. That was a picture of Christ taking up his mat, going up into the heavenlies alive. For the Quran is the clear book and it says, for neither did they kill him or crucify him for Allah took him. Allah raised him to himself. Back to 2 Samuel 11 and 2. And David arose from off his bed. He went into heaven alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Wake up. And walk upon the roof of the king's house. That's his father's house. That's his father's house. As it is written in my father's house. There are many Mansions. He didn't say it was his house. And 
descend from the roof from heaven, he saw a woman washing. Now this is the Muslim. We are washing before prayer. We are washing after we urinate. We're washing after we defecate. We love to purify ourselves. Going on. The woman was very beautiful to look upon. Islam is a beautiful monotheistic religion. It is a religion like one man with many wives. It's like Solomon, one man, one God, and all of his people. No middleman, okay? That's why a man can have multiple wives, because a man is made in the image of God. But it is polytheism whenever a woman has more than one husband, okay? That right there is polytheism. I told you that in part two. And this religion associates no partners with God. This religion has a perfect balance of Jesus that he's not God, but he is the Messiah. And this religion promotes cleanliness. Okay? This religion is about prayer. I can go on and on and on. This is a beautiful Religion. See, most of your minds got perverted when you thought about David walking on his rooftop, looking at a woman, washing herself. Your mind only went into the physical, but there is a spiritual meeting hidden for those who have faith in this story. Verse 3, and David sent and inquired after the woman, and one said, is not this Bathsheba the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah, the Hittite? So this one woman was the wife of one man. And this one man was Uriah. Now, Uriah, I teach, is a type and shadow of Jesus Christ. How, just like David killed Uriah and took his wife. That was a picture of Paul killing Jesus and taking the church. But as I meditated on this, it's deeper. This is not only a picture of Paul killing Jesus on biblical record, but this is a picture of Paul killing God. This hurt God. This is a picture of God Almighty being killed by Paul. Why? Because Paul killed everything God wrote. The skinny cows and Joseph's interpretation is the New Testament. And the fat flesh cows is the Old Testament. And the skinny cows ate up the fat flesh cows. What is that going into? That's going into how everything that God wrote was destroyed by the apostate, the self-proclaimed apostle, the wolf in sheep clothing, Paul. So Uriah is also a type and shadow of the father being murdered by Paul. Why? Because Paul killed Jesus and took the father's church. It wasn't Jesus' church. It was the father's church. That's why I said Paul killed the father. And he did. He killed everything he wrote. In Deuteronomy 24 and 16 he says the son shall not die for the father. In 2 Kings 14 and 6 he says the son shall not die for the father. In 2 Chronicles 25 and 4 he says the son shall not die for the father. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, the whole entire chapter is saying, the son shall not die for the father, and the father shall not die for the son. Every man is going to die for his own sins. Paul ruined all of that with Romans 5, when he says, by one man's obedience, 
many were made righteous. Justification for the wicked. When we know God tells us that you cannot kill the innocent and slay the righteous and justify the wicked. Paul's teachings is justification for the wicked man. He gives him a free pass into heaven because you know he never talks about hell on the account of Jesus so-called dying for their sins. This is what I mean when I say Paul murdered the father. Now this is going to be the proof that the lamb is Islam. Bathsheba is the nation of Islam. Get it? Islam is the lamb. I told you to spell Islam is the lamb. Islam is the lamb. This is going to be seen in 2 Samuel chapter 12 verse 3. But the poor man had nothing. That's Christ. Christ always talks about the poor. He said that only the son of man has no place to lay his head. He talked about the poor. He tells us to remember the poor. Just like the Quran tells us. This poor man had nothing. Save one little ewe lamb. This is Uriah. All he had was a lamb. Oh. Bathsheba. All he had was Bathsheba. All he had was the lamb. This is proof that Islam is the lamb. The poor man had nothing. Uriah didn't have nothing but the lamb. So the lamb in this reference is a woman. It's a woman. Not a man. Wake up. When she had brought up and nourished up and grew up together with him. And with his children, it did eat of his own meat and drink of his own cup and lay in his bosom and was unto him as a daughter. And there came a traveler unto the rich man. Who is the rich man? Paul is the rich man. And he spared to take of his own flock and of his own herd to dress for the wafering or traveling man that was come unto him. But took the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the man that was come unto him. Now we can keep going, we can keep going, and we can keep going. But I just want to be simple with y'all. I'm doing these simple part ones part twos, I'm doing this simple message for you to get it, that Uriah's wife was the lamb. And the lamb is Islam. The woman who is washing herself, get it, Bathsheba, is the nation of Islam. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.